Hello guys, it's Miss Irving here, uh, and I have my friend Milo here again, and we're going to talk about a different sensor. In our last video, and a couple videos before that, we talked about something um, called a motion sensor, or a light sensor, and today we're going to be talking about a different kind of sensor, it's called a gyro, gyro sensor. So I'm going to tilt my camera down so you can have a better look at it. So here I have Milo. We put this little thing on it, and to help out Milo, he needs to be able to communicate, and he can't do that very well. So what we've done is put a program together where we can turn this a certain way, and this light will change, and a message will pop up on the back of our screen, or on our uh, coding here. So you'll see the light changes, the message disappears, the slight changes, the message appears. Do it a few more times. So let's talk about what this gyro sensor is. Um, a good way to think of it is if you have, let's say like a pet. So we have our little spider here. If we flip our pets over, the pet's not just gonna stay there, right? Like I, I would hope not, you wouldn't think that there's something right if you just stayed there. Um, your pet's gonna be able to tell, I'm upside down, and it's gonna flip itself over. And in the same way, this little sensor right here, this guy right here with the arrows, can tell I'm straight, I'm to the side, I'm to the other side, or I'm upside down. But instead of flipping itself back, what it's gonna do is whatever you program it to do. So let's take a look at this coding. What we have done here is programmed it to do certain things based on which way this is tilted. Tilted. So, this big yellow thing around it with the arrows here is called a loop. And what a loop does is tells it to repeat itself. Sometimes it'll have a number here, so let's say we put a three here, then all of this stuff will repeat three times. In this case, it's just an endless loop, and that means it's just gonna do this over and over until we turn it off. So let's look at this first section right here. So this is saying that it's going to wait until the gyro sensor is tilted a specific way. And when it's tilted that way, then the light is going to turn a certain color and a message is going to pop up on the screen. So in this case, the light turns to red and then a blank message is going to pop up. Now on here, it's tilted the other way. So when it's tilted that way, the light is going to be pink and a message saying Milo is going to pop up on the screen. So let's take a look at it again. Blank. Milo. And we can program it, this sensor to do a bunch of other things. It could make noise when it's in different positions. It could change a different color. It could say a completely different message. It doesn't have to say Milo. But that's just a little example of what this gyro sensor does. So. Um, I want you guys at home to build, or if you don't have Legos, to draw our little Milo with its communication gyro sensor on top, okay? See you next time.